coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with an empties video and you guys know I do these every three or four months. I don't know how long it's been. All I know is I can't fit any more in here so I kind of had to get it done. Not to mention, you guys know how it makes me feel to save trash. So I'm gonna jump into this um, empties video, but I also wanted to warn you that this is also going to be a Mrs. video. I was looking at my um, bathroom vanity, you know, like your sink where you brush your teeth, and I had so much stuff. I was like, why do I have so much stuff? And I don't recall using so much so many products every day. So I kind of went through each product and it just turned out to be that I had products there that I bought to try. I used them a couple times and I didn't like them, but because I didn't use them up, they were just sitting there. So I was like, Danny, it's a new year. It's a new you. It's time to declutter. So there are some products in here that are very, very, very full and almost new that just didn't work out for me. So I thought, I would do a empties slash misses video and just share my thoughts. You guys know I have normal skin, but I have really whack hair. So when it comes to hair, I have a lot of misses for hair products. So let's go ahead and get started. A product that is not a miss, and I'm sure I have more in this container somewhere, is the Macadamia Professional Weightless Moisture Shampoo. This is a perfect moisturizing shampoo for someone with really fine, flat, greasy, bald hair like I do. Uh, I love this product. It's, it, it makes my hair really healthy, really shiny. So many of you comment on my hair when I have it just straight and just flat ironed. This hair, this shampoo has done a lot for the way my hair looks and feels. I don't know that it's given me any more and that's my problem is I need help with like hair, pr uh, promotion of hair growth. I do take biotin supplements which help it grow a lot faster. You guys remember last year, this time last year I had really short hair um, and now it's about down to here. So it does help me make it grow faster, but it does not make more grow. So that doesn't help with that, but it's a really nice shampoo. Another shampoo that I really like is the Briogeo Be Gentle and Be Kind Green Tea Shampoo. I use this and there's still a little bit left, but I wanted to um, talk about it because I really like it. So I'm not gonna throw it away yet. I love this product. Um, this I use as a clarifying shampoo because my hair is so fine, I don't buy like a specific clarifying shampoo because it's a little too harsh. This one, I mean, e -e 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 -e, squeaky clean every time and it's a healthier alternative. It's a, it's a healthier shampoo. A miss for me, and this is full, super full, is the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump. This is a volumizing spray mousse. So you shake it up, you spray it at the roots and then blow dry your hair. I have such little hair, like thin, I have like four hairs. Don't look at my 876 bobby pins, okay? My hair is not long enough to fully cross over, so I just had to make do. Um, this is awful if you have really fine or thin hair. It just completely lumps your four hairs together. It doesn't root lift anything, and it just makes it hard, crunchy, and makes you look even more bald. It's such a mess. If you have medium, thicker, coarse hair, then you know, you probably love it. So many people love this product on YouTube and just, it did not do anything for me. A body lotion that I got as a perk from Sephora is the Pure Vanilla, no, 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 the Healthy Body Butter from La Vanilla, that fancy vanilla brand. I didn't really like this lotion. It smells good. It doesn't just smell like straight up vanilla. It has a little bit something else in there like lavender or some other scent um but it's just one of those really white body lotions that you really have to buff into the skin to get rid of so if you just do a little bit too much lotion you're gonna have like that white look i don't like that i like when a, when a body lotion or a body cream like melts into the skin and you don't see that like whiteness about it and that one have that oh here's another one see i had two i traded in my perks for this and uh, 
I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like, woo, blew my socks off like this one. This is the Body Shops, <laughs> don't judge me, this is from last Christmas. Glazed Apple Body Butter. This is from last Christmas. I bought so many because I loved it, but I finally used my last one right around Christmas time, so it took me a year. Um, it smells so good. And this is one of those body butters that's like super, super, super emollient. It almost feels like um, whipped oil on your skin. So you put it on. I only use it, you know, when it's really cold and my skin dries out. It just feels amazing. And the scent is a huge plus. I like it because it almost like, I can smell it on my clothes. I just smell it all day long. It doesn't uh, fade away. Another body lotion, and I didn't actually finish this one. This is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar, and I know a lot of you are gonna be so upset at me for this, but um, this is one of those body butters that feels nice and leaves my skin soft, and when I first put it on, it smells really good, but as the scent kind of warms up on my skin or with you know, my pH balance or whatever, it smells really ugly on me. It does not smell good whatsoever. At first it smells so good. It smells like uh, tanning oil, but as it combines with like the chemistry of my skin, it just does not jive. Have you guys ever tried a product where it smells good, but when it, you put it on you, it doesn't smell good? That's kind of like that. Now I'm going to show you guys a ton of the same product just so I get through this basket and feel a little more accomplished. I have one, two, three. You're judging me, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're totally judging me. Four, but this is a different scent. I think that's it, right? I usually have a little bit more than that. Yeah, I guess that's it. So for Caress body washes, I love Caress for body wash. I love Caress bar soap. I used to wash my face with Caress bar soap until I was like, ooh, maybe 22. I used to use Caress bar soap <laughs> to wash my face. Hey, look, I mean, it's good, okay? <laughs> Another hair product. This is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Color Protecting Moisturizing Shampoo. I just wanted to get rid of this. I, I used it up. I was like, I need to use it up. I need to use it. Just get rid of it. I can't just throw it away. So I finally finished the bottle of this. I have the conditioner still in my shower. I have a little bit left. For some reason, I always use my shampoo first. I don't use the conditioner. I use like two shampoos per conditioner. And I think most people use two conditioners per shampoo. <laughs> I use it the other way around. Um, it's good, but it didn't blow my socks off. The macadamia, that is my holy grail shampoo probably of ever. So compared to this one, uh, that one's just like a regular shampoo. I thought it would do something because I have color treated hair. You can see like the difference in my hair dye, um, but it just, yeah, whatever, you know, nothing special. Now let's talk about facial cotton because apparently I have two. My holy grail facial cotton of ever is like a really fancy cotton. This is the Shiseido facial cotton. It's, it's so good. It's a lot of, a lot of people say there's like a dupe, like some cloud, something clouds on Amazon or whatever. I actually haven't tried it. I just keep buying this one because I know I love it. It lasts me forever. I just need one to remove my makeup or one. Uh, I don't even use it for toner because my toner is in a spray bottle. So it lasts me forever. So the I think it's $8. It's totally worth it, you guys. It's for your face. It's for your face. It's worth it. I bought these at Daiso thinking they were going to be dupes for this. And this is the worst cotton I have ever tried ever. These are little cotton squares. Um, let me show you. These are little cotton squares and they're kind of, uh, they're the kind that have like a, a, a groove to them or, a, you know, like with fabric, how fabric stretches one way and then it's taut the other. It's like that. It stretches one way, it's taut the other. But this is one of the dustiest, fluffiest, lintiest, cotton things I have ever used. It's not worth the trouble. I want to put these directly in the trash. They're not even good for removing my nail polish. I get fuzz everywhere. It's awful. It's completely awful. Um, I would rather use, do you guys remember when cotton just came in a bag and you would rip it out and make your own little ball? I would rather use that than this. This is 
terrible. So if you see this at a Daiso, do not get it. It's terrible. I have two more products, two hair products that I forgot to share with you guys. The Tresemme Firm Control number three is the best hairspray ever. I don't care if you have thick hair, curly hair, thin hair, fine hair, whatever. This is the best hairspray ever. Ever. It's soft and touchable, but it actually holds the style. It's like miracle hairspray and it smells really good. A miss for me was Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. This thing is full, like full, full, full. It was like $20. It is a product that's supposed to give you um, natural looking curls. It even says on here, for people who don't want ramen noodle definition and instead want larger expanded curls. This would probably give you really beautiful curls if you have thick, luscious hair. But I have thin ramen noodle hair, so when I put this on, it just weighs my hair down. And not to mention, you swear you're putting on downy. Like straight up, you're dousing like a gelatinous downy in your hair. Like that's what it smells like. It smells like downy. It's, it smells like softener. What if they use softener in their product? Because this isn't one of those like healthier products. Isn't that, could it be? I don't think so. Maybe it's just the fragrance they use. But um, it just completely weighed it down. So I see potential in this product if the texture of my hair was different. But because it's not, I just can't use it. And it sucks because now I'm stuck with it and it's brand new. And I don't know anyone with thick, luscious hair. Then I have two packages of the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Wipes. You guys know I'm crazy about these, like crazy about these. I love these, they're so good. And they're like $3 and when they're on sale, they're like $1.50, totally worth it. Um, then I have a package and I wanted to throw these in here even though they're not makeup because they're amazing. These are the Pledge Multi-Surface Wipes. I like these wipes because I don't have to get like Windex wipes. I don't have to get electronic wipes. I don't have to, this is one wipe one wipe does it all. It's for granite, metal, wood, glass, and electronics. I use these everywhere in this room. On the glass doors, on the top, on this table that I'm in front of, on my monitor, on everything. I use these for everything. They're really awesome. So the next time you're at Target, try them. I think you might like them. They're good to have on hand if you're not, if you don't have the time to like really get down and like scrub your house or clean it all the time. They're great to have on hand to just tidy things up. You know what I'm saying? Then I have a bunch of sheet mask or sheet mask type products that I'm going to give you guys just a really brief uh, review on, I guess you could say. The first one is baby foot. This was so bad. I don't know if it didn't do anything for me. I don't know if I just didn't have rhinoceros feet or something because my feet didn't peel until like the fifth or sixth day. So I had already given up on the idea that my feet were gonna peel. And then all of a sudden, boom, my feet start peeling. But it's not like they peeled like crazy like you see on, on other baby foot reviews. Like I didn't have like chunky zombie rotten feet skin falling off. It, it just, it wasn't worth the trouble. I'm just going to go there. It wasn't worth the trouble. It was weird. And then my feet had this weird like acid smell for like a week after soaking in this stuff in here. Just, I don't know. Leave me a recommendation on foot peels from a different brand because I really didn't like this one. And I'm surprised because it's like the brand of foot peels. Then I have all these face masks. So here are my like general thoughts. For example, the Tony Moly I'm Real that I just dropped on the floor. The Tony Moly, Moly I'm Real uh, mask that you guys told me you buy on Amazon for like a dollar. Yeah, you guys get them on Amazon for a dollar. They're way cheaper there. These. These are the ones from Tony Moly I'm Real that I'm talking about. These are, uh, I think, cotton sheet masks. So they come saturated in a serum in here. You don't have to peel a front or a back. They're not hydrogel masks and they're not bio uh, cellulose masks. So these are the more economic, affordable ones. And they're the ones that are just going to kind of perk up your skin. They're gonna make it feel better. Long-term effects or dramatic results, you're not gonna get them from masks like these. These are nice and they do give you that feeling of pampering. This one, for example, really did make my skin radiant. I loved it. Um, and they smell really good. 
but these are more of like kind of uh, a perk a perk up a quick pick me up a you know a quick spa treatment type mask if you want a really nice sheet mask to really make a difference that really makes you feel like you're going through the luxe spa experience get a hydrogel mask or a biocellulose mask those are the sandwich masks the ones that come with a plastic cover on one side and the other so you take it out of the package you peel off the back you apply it and then you peel off the cover and these are masks that tend to dry out. And so that's why they have the protective layers. So for example, my two favorites that I talked about in um, my favorites video are from Leaders, the Seven Wonders Mediterranean Olive Brightening Masks and the Karuna Lux Skin Regenerating Face Masks. These are, this is a biocellulose mask and this is a hydrogel mask, I think. No, they're both biocellulose masks. So they give you that really luxe experience. So I have several of those in this pile. So I have the two, these two from Leaders. I have two from Karuna. I have a face and a neck mask. They have neck masks. I have uh, this one from Florapy. This actually came in my glossy box and I really like this mask. I really, really liked it. I don't know where they sell Florapy though, so I'm curious to find out because I would definitely love to have more in my stash. Um, a regular Karuna, not the Karuna Luxe, this is just the regular Karuna brand, um, exfoliating. It was good, it wasn't life changing like the Luxe version. Uh, oh, here's another Karuna Lux Regenerating. I also tried this one from Tony Moly. This is a premium snail. I like this one, but it felt a little different. Like it actually gave me feelings, like little uncomfortable feelings. It made my skin look nice, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm dying to try that again. It wasn't like that. And then I also tried two nose packs from Tony Moly. These are like Biore pore strips. I like the Biore ones better. We're almost done. So I have one Zoya Remove Plus. You guys know I like to buy these little bottles, even though I suggest you buy the big gallon on Amazon and refill it. But I get a really, really awesome deal on these. Um, I think once a year they have a really good promotion. I also have a Purity Made Simple, my face wash. I don't need to get into that. You guys know I love it. Then my, this is the same stuff that I have every three months. One makeup remover from Pons. If you live in Mexico, you know how awesome the Biohydratante Desmaquillante is. This is amazing. I know some of you say they have it at Walmart, so if you see it at Walmart, snatch it up. It's the best eye makeup remover and it doesn't burn. My Holy Grail Facial Serum is the Murad Advanced Active Radiance Serum. I love this stuff. Thank God I only use one every three or four months because I think it's $80. Then I have a sunscreen from Benefit. I used this for about a week and I was telling my friend Sam, I said, Sam, do you ever try a product where you don't, you don't know if it's gonna be a holy grail product or you wanna peel your face off with a potato peeler? Cause that's what this product is like. I really, really, really loved it, but I really, really, really hated it at the same time. After using it for a week, I was like, okay, I'm just keep trying it, I'm gonna keep trying it and then I'll let you guys know. I didn't like it at all. Oh my God. It, when you put it on, you feel like you're putting on soap, like cleanser. It feels like you're putting on cleanser and then it dries down to a really slippery, silky silicone finish. I can't get past the soapy feel of it. Like you're putting something on that's meant to be left on, but you feel like it's meant to be rinsed off. That's how this feels. And so I just couldn't get past that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it, you guys. I'm sorry. Then I have two really, really beat up beauty blenders. When is it time to let go of your beauty blender? One, when it starts to rip. Or two, when you notice the little pores in the sponge are starting to widening up. When that happens, it's going to absorb more product than it will bump onto the skin. And it's not going to be worth it because you're going to be basically pouring money into your sponge that's not going to be staying on your face. So once the little pores, the little pores in the spongy texture start to get bigger, you got to get rid of it. Then I have my Holy Grail eye cream, Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge Eye Balm before they changed the packaging. 
I think I still have one more with the old packaging. A uh, Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Deodorant. Oh, you guys know my deodorant journey. The Glossier Priming Moisturizer. So many people love this thing. Like, oh my god, it's a must-have in your kit. I didn't like it at all. It's a moisturizer that you're supposed to put on your face, like a moisturizer, <laughs> and it's supposed to be a primer as well. I swear this feels like a suave body lotion, like a $1 suave body lotion that you buy at like a Target or a Walmart and you're putting it on your face. It doesn't do anything for your skin except that it's hydrating, but it doesn't have sunscreen, it doesn't have anti-aging properties, it doesn't have anything, no bells and whistles, it's just, it just moisturizes, but it's not a moisturizer, you know what I mean? Um, and then primer, in that case, any moisturizer could be considered a primer. I don't know. I used it for two weeks, I would say, and I was like, what? I don't get it. I don't understand. I know Glossier is a good brand because they keep their um, products at a minimum of ingredients. Like, they try to make them as basic as possible. Like, for example, this doesn't have a scent whatsoever. I wish it would because it doesn't smell like anything. I don't know. I didn't like it. Sorry. I need to just stop ranting. Um, then I have my eye serum, my favorite eye serum from Ahava. Ahava? Oh, you guys always correct me and I can't say it. This is really awesome. I love this for my under eye. I use it as an under eye serum and then I go in with an eye balm or my eye cream and I love it. Then I have a dried out big eyes. This is one of my favorite mascaras from Maybelline. But the problem with this, and I remembered why I hadn't repurchased it. I repurchased, repurchased it recently, and I was like, why haven't I, why didn't I, why did it take me so long to repurchase it, right? And I'm using it, I'm using it, I love it. I used it maybe 10, 15 times, and it already started to dry out. So I was like, that's why I hadn't repurchased you, I remember. Then I have an empty Pacifica Skin Revival Microdermabrasion. This is the smaller size that comes in the sampler pack. I've talked about this a lot. This is a great product. You guys need it. A fail was the Formula X Nail Cleanser. You guys, this is like alcohol in a glass bottle. It's not worth it. A nail cleanser, if you really want to cleanse your nails, wash your hands and then take a cotton pad with alcohol or nail polish remover and wipe your, your nails and then paint your nails. This is such a rip off. I didn't buy it individually. It came in that kit, like the three part system. So I don't feel awful, but it's just, it's such a gimmick. Then I have an Urban Decay eyeshadow potion um, in Eden. Do these go bad, you guys? Because this is, no matter how much I shake it or stir it, it's separated. Like it, it won't come back together. So I feel almost like it dried out and kind of globbed together, but it's awful. And it kind of has a funky smell. So I'm not about to go in my eye area with that thing, but the color is really nice. Um, one of my teeth whitening, I've been kind of kicking back on my teeth whitening just because I was doing it way too often and I don't want to get early teeth sensitivity, you know? So I have just one of the syringes of my holy grail teeth whitening. You guys are like, oh my God, you drink so much coffee. How come your teeth aren't yellow? The last product in here is the Kate Somerville De-Scar. This is a scar diminishing serum. I bought this because um, I do have a scar that I want to lighten and nothing compares to Mederma, nothing. Like, I already knew Mederma worked. I don't know why I tried to make this work. This is so expensive and it doesn't do anything. I swear I'm like rubbing like aloe gel on my scar. It doesn't lighten anything. It's such a fail. You see how emphatic I am about it? <laughs> so that is it for my empties and my misses. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember my empties is only, my empties are only about every three to four months. So if you're not a fan of empties, don't worry. I won't see you again until next season. If you are a fan of empties, I'm sorry, but I won't see you again until next season. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any product suggestions or questions on the products that I did mention, leave them in the comment section below. And like always, if you found this video useful, entertaining,